Last time on Alt Shift Nerd. Does that help with your memory? I didn't do anything. You were the only one there. You sick little f duck. You won't find my fingerprints anywhere. Welcome back to another Alt Shift Nerd video. Shout out to our subscribers. What? What? Today we're going to be discussing Stranger Things again. I know all of you are happy about that. And today we're going to be clarifying a very confusing conundrum amongst the fans throughout the series of Stranger Things regarding Eleven and her abilities as connected to the Upside Down. We'll start where the series starts, with Eleven entering a highly specialized sensory deprivation tank. Now, this is an example of an astral projection. This video isn't about astral travel itself, whether it's possible or not, nor how to achieve it, use it, etc. Astral projections are considered a form of psychic phenomenon. Governments of several countries around the globe experimented with the development of this natural ability, much akin to the MK Ultra experiments that inspired the Doofer brothers to create Stranger Things. Astral projecting is not lucid dreaming, which is important to note for the purposes of this video. Those are two distinctly different activities. During an astral projection, one shifts tonal frequency so that a not-so-corporeal form moves remotely and independently from the physical body. This form is not usually perceivable unless a perceiver has also shifted to the vibration of the astral projection. One could observe friends and family, for example, without being noticed. This idea was of key interest for governments as a new way of spying on other governments of countries, criminals, etc., when they believed they were free of outside observation. In Season 1 of Stranger Things, Dr. Brenner has Eleven astral projecting to observe a specific Russian male and deliver the information of what she witnessed upon return to her physical body. Now Eleven seems to tune out the rest of the details of the physical waking world when astral projecting as to concentrate and focus in on her target. This is why she appears to be in a black void, accepting the necessary details that are part of her assignment or desired target studies. The Upside Down is an easy and obvious one to discern. You'll notice when characters of the show are in the Upside Down is it has a very red sky aglow by the red lightning along with plant-like tentacles and vines growing everywhere. The Upside Down can only be accessed via portals. It is also a very physical location much like our own world and Hawkins, Indiana. Astral projection is possible in the Upside Down as it is in any physical reality. However, when Vecna does his mindscapes from the Krill House attic, it is significant to realize that is not an actual astral projection he is engaging. What he's doing in those instances, the primary one being the only one we see in Season 4, is using a slightly different psychic ability of telepathy. Telepathy is a combination of telepathy and emotional empathic senses. He could also be using psychometry in some capacity, though that's a discussion for another time. This scene displaying one of Vecna's abilities in the attic leads us to the last portion of this video. Mentalscapes visited in the Stranger Things series has to be the most confusing element of the show for viewers and the characters. Another location frequently seen in this show revolves around mentalscapes, psychological references from present present or present past experiences and personal connections that construct mental landscapes, um, which can be visited much akin to a dream. Entering mentalscapes is a type of ability categorized as psychic, though is not an astral projection into the consensus waking, waking world. These are not a part of the upside down nor attached to it. 
Some mental scapes reference locations in the Upside Down, such as with Max and Henry Creel, a.k.a. Vecna, yet is not actually taking place in the locations themselves, yet are happening within the psychological landscapes of an individual's mind. How do you like that? Um, and take, for example, Billy. He is in Hawkins during a drive to a scandalous date when he becomes hijacked by Vecna through the mental manipulations he is well known for. These scenes play out in Hawkins and within the psychological reference of that same location. But in mental scapes, this is not an astral projection of Billy's nor Vecna's, as Vecna is creating a reference point of that location in Billy's psychological constructs and communicating with him there. To Billy, it feels and seems as if he is in the same physical location in Hawkins, Indiana, which he could be in one moment, but then becomes pulled into one of Vecna's mental scapes designed for his exchanges with Billy from the Upside Down. To further clarify, this mental scape isn't in the Upside Down either. Why don't you come on down to Benny's Burgers, 4819 Randolph Lane, Hawkins, Indiana, and let us feel that belly up to satisfaction for you. We have a more personal touch to those big city chains. Fruits and vegetables are nice and all, but when you want a real meal instead of a snack, come on down and see us at Benny's Burgers. We'll give you pickles, tomatoes, and onions with lettuce stacked atop a juicy beef patty. Our burgers are flame grilled. You'll get none of that oven thawed my microwavable mess here. Everything is made fresh to order so you can really taste the flavor right away. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to Benny's Burgers and get your feel of some home cooked grub. Tuesday nights, kids eat ice cream free. Benny's Burgers, 4819 Randolph Lanes, Hawking, Indiana. We're on the meaty side of town. Oh, and you can find us on Minecraft. If things are still confusing, here's the Stranger Things 4 scene with Max at Billy's grave. Well, Vecna has his claws already dug into Max's mind and heart. He uses her emotional connections surrounding Billy to create mental references to him and the graveyard site. I've been waiting to hear those words, Max. In so very long. Physically, Max is in Hawkins Cemetery, while also appearing as in the Vecna-designed mentalscape version of that location. He is not pulling her into the Upside Down. And this is not an actual astral projection of him or her. Adding to the confusion about these environments, characters have went from one to another. Keeping with Max at this cemetery for now, we see her in that mentalscape Vecna created for her to torment her with the memory of Billy and Max's grief surrounding him. That interaction twixt Vecna and Max shifts to a mentalscape in Vecna's psychological geography. This mentalscape of Vecna's is a distorted and broken version of the Creel House of Hawkins, Indiana. Max was not pulled into the upside down from her mentalscape that Vecna designed, as we have seen that the what the Creel House looks like in the upside down. It is intact and not torn apart as it appears within Henry Creel's mindscape. A nightmare. Do you think Vecna's just trying to scare you? With Billy? Yeah. But when I made it here, I don't know, something was different. He seemed surprised, almost. Like he didn't want me there. Just think about it. What if you somehow unlocked a back door to Vecna's world? Maybe you infiltrated his mind. He invaded your mind, right? Is it that big of a leap to suggest you somehow wound up in his? Exactly, Dustin. Which brings us to the next scenes we can explore to further clarify the matter. Take Eleven in Stranger Things 3 when she is looking for Billy by astral projecting to locate him. Eleven starts out in her usual void space where she tunes out everything except the target she is psychically scanning for. Then she finds Billy who seems unresponsive initially, 
only to allow Levin to get close enough to make contact. He grips her strong enough to pull her from the astral projection into his psychological geography. She goes falling through his memories until reaching the areas where Vecna is influencing him. The places in Billy's emotional memories that Vecna has a hold on him, and the mental scar tissue where Vecna entered Billy's life to begin with. And of course, this isn't Billy. It's Vecna as Billy, manipulating him, using him as the mind flare does. There are other examples we can discuss further, though I think this explains things a bit more clearly betwixt the different planes of existence present in Stranger Things. The Doofer Brothers do love their Dungeons & Dragons, with plenty of references to it in this series. Planes of existence is a large element in many Dungeons & Dragons campaign stories. It is not of any surprise to find different planes of existence in Stranger Things, like the Astral, the Mental Scapes, and the Upside Down. If you have any questions or confusion remains, feel free to bring them up in the comments section and we can discuss them further. Keep in mind that we're bringing this up because it's important to distinguish between these different environments and also in understanding what is happening with Hawkins being frozen in 1983. Better click that subscribe button, my peeps, or else the YouTube algorithm will get you! Don't want to be left in the dark? Then subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon. That way you're notified when we release new content. You know, you want to share our videos with everyone you know. Yep, even Scott. And yes, even the people at your support group meetings. What's that? You don't go to support group meetings? Join one, just so you can tell them all about Alt-Shift, nerd.